worked on this time. Yeah, we're set. Thomas 208. In position 509. Mount Thomas 208, stand by. Receive 509. We may not be. And here they come. Happy families. Mount Thomas 208. Oh my god, please! Shot fired 509. Mount Thomas 509 to okay, see women in an ambulance and back up at our last. Pull back 208. No! Matt. Mount Thomas 208, pull back. No! No! Don't do this! Oh my god, Billy! Matt's gone inside 209. No! No! Please don't move! Please! Whatever's going on here, you don't want to do this. We can just talk it through. Why don't you just put the gun down and we can talk about this. Back off! Back off! I'm fine. Doctor? His hearing's going to be effective for a couple of days and that powder burn's going to start hurting pretty soon. He should have some time off. Constable, Dr Ash thinks... Sorry, sorry boss. Dr Ash thinks you should take a couple of days off. There's no need, I'm fine boss. He's not fine. He had a shotgun Look, I've, gone uh, I've got his work ear. to do. But... Thanks doc. A bloke with a shotgun does a run-through on you and your girlfriend, knocks off your drugs and you've got no idea? What drugs? Mate, we've had your place bugged for weeks. We know you took a shipment of amphetamines last night. And you were due to make the handover this morning. But something went wrong. That's why we were there. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to work it out. I don't know about any drugs. All right, Billy. Mm. Try this one on for size. The drug deal that you and Janine were planning brought out some heavy muscle. Who were you dealing with? find anything? Mate, we know. You find anything? I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing. No names, no mention of drugs. They were careful. Not careful enough. Somebody must have leaked the details to a rival. Well, we've had them under surveillance for months. Their organisation was tight. So what happened? Boss? Anything you can add? All right, stay on it. Uh, phone for your boss, a uh, Dr Mickler. Close the door, please, Constable. Boss, Dr. Mickler's your oncologist. Thought you'd already seen her. Well, I'm seeing her again. Are you going to tell me? When I know. Your PSIs are showing some activity. 
we took out the tumor, but unfortunately... It's appearing elsewhere. Yes. We need to start you on chemotherapy immediately. And what will that do? Increase your chances. Some people experience only mild side effects. This is for the resident at Mount Thomas General. You can have your treatment at the clinic there. Tom, some people use this kind of news in a positive way. Cut back on stress. Resolve past arguments. Refocus their lives. To see you, Tom. That's Adam Cooper. He used to be in the job here till I sacked him. Serious misconduct liable to bring the force into disrepute. I had no idea. How many times has he been in this station without my knowing about it? Uh, twice, I think. When was the last time? Last Monday. And you didn't see fit to tell me? Well, I told you at the time. I just... Didn't know him from Adam. Look, the machine's been on the blink for a few weeks. He's been keeping it running. Seems like a nice enough guy. Finished? If I put in a new motor, it should run fine now. So you finished? No one left from the old crew, eh? You don't get over things, do you? Hold on to it too long and it'll kill you, Tom. Don't come back. I'll organise a new techie to take over your maintenance. Good to meet you, mate. Hope he's a bit warmer when you come back. See you, Tom. No, don't tell me. The salami and the pesto are gone and the oh. panini is multigrain. I'm sorry. Adam. Hey. More coppers. How many uniforms does the old war horse need? I used to work for your boss a long time ago. Town hasn't been exactly friendly. He didn't exactly leave covered in glory. I know. But at least say hello. I thought you might talk to me, you of all people. Well, what are you doing just standing there? Better ask for a room then. Don't want to get busted. We just, we just better go. <clears throat> Thanks, Chris. Are they old enough to be coppers? You used to look like that once. Did I? Get my stuff. Room 13. Thanks, Chris. Susie? Yeah. Billy Taylor. What was your interest? Isn't he the guy we raided this morning? Yeah. I've just been in touch with the database management unit. You accessed his files a week ago. No. Well, it's your computer. You were logged on. My computer? I've got no idea. When was this? Uh, last week, Monday. This is a CI matter. I have no reason to access these files. Someone else must have been at my computer. Acting Sergeant. Yeah? Who else was in this station on Monday? I was pretty angry when I left here. I know I was often pretty angry. It was so unfair. I mean, he just kicked me out of uniform. Just like that, and the rest of you turned away. 
I blamed him. You, everyone. I had to go a long way down before I realised whose fault it was. So. Always was my responsibility. It's my life. I'm just sorry that I hurt you, Chris. I'm not even angry at Tom, you know? Adam Cooper, we have reason to believe that you have accessed police records. I don't believe it. We wish to search your room in relation to one charge of aggravated burglary and one of conduct endangering life. No. Cooper. Charge me or leave me alone, but you don't have my permission. We don't need your permission. Chris? with you, Tom. Boss. Never seen that before. Let's go. Are you OK? Yeah, you. Couldn't be better. This gun we found in your hotel room is identical to one used earlier this morning in an ag burg on Billy Taylor's house. Who? You remember Billy. You accessed his files last time you serviced our photocopier. Are you enjoying this, Tom? You're still not going to let it go? One man conducted the raid, used the gun we found in your hotel room, the other drove the getaway car. <sighs> Are my prints on the gun? We're in the process of checking for prints. Are you charging me? All in good time, Mr Cooper. Then you won't be holding me much longer. Who used the gun? You can drop this any time you like, Tom. Mac Graham had that same shotgun go off in his ear this morning. I just can't see it. I mean, I know he was always young and stupid. Try crooked. But shooting at coppers, he was never that bad, despite what you thought of him. Who's been staying in that room? <sighs> well, there was an auditor from the tax department last week, and before that, no one for about a month. Business is booming. Did Cooper say anything? Just that he wanted to get his life back on track, and that he wanted to make his peace with you. Thanks, Chris. Well? Are there any so far that could Look, be... I didn't see the guy, all right? You sure, Matt? Think any distinguishing features? No! Look, you saw the guy too. The gun was over his face. Yeah, exactly. Anything? Well, if we can't make a connection, we're going to have to cut Cooper loose. No connection? What about that? That's your connection. But if you can't recognise a face, that's no use. Coffee? I'll get it. Once is usually sufficient. Once got me nowhere. My car's been stolen. Ah. I know what you're doing. That thing with the form. Pretending what you're about to do is so important it takes six hours just to get it ready. Name? Gina O'Connor. Big O, big C. And somebody's stolen... S-T-O-L-E-N, my car. Really? It's just a crappy old Corolla. But as it's pretty important to me, I wouldn't mind if you could get moving on it before Christmas, Sergeant. Senior Sergeant. Address? 
trying, all right? It's just... Let's just start at the beginning. Ah, Peroni, a rock. Job for my speediest constables. You don't have enough to hold me, do you? You remain in town, keep yourself available. You could have believed me, but then listening to other people's opinions was never your strong point, was it, boss? We've spoken to your current employer. I presume from that conversation they don't know anything about your previous employment history. Are you threatening me? Sign him out, acting sergeant. Found the car, boss. It's parked at the hospital in a space reserved for emergencies. The hospital called the council. The council towed it away. Apparently it's not the first time the car's been parked around the hospital illegally. One of the nurses made a number of complaints. Have you ever tried parking there? It's bloody impossible. Because it's an emergency zone. It's for sick people and staff to park there. And you'd know. How many warnings have you received so far? It's because some nosy bitch leaves notes on my windscreen. Because you parked in a space reserved for emergencies. As you well knew when you reported your car stolen. It doesn't matter where I parked it. When I got back, it was gone. G-O-N-E. No, towed. T-O-W-E-D. And impounded. And I'm afraid if you want it back, it's going to cost you $450. I see, that's got your attention. It's not fair. No, Ms O'Connor, it's about time. What's not fair is that people like you... Oh, people like me. People like you sometimes need a very big stick to tell them that their behaviour is selfish and unacceptable. Bugger you, then. Hundred and fifty bucks, you fat bastard! Give my regards to Ted down at the depot. Joss! What? What have you done? Tied it up a bit. Where is my blue dress? Um, did you leave it on the ground? Where's the rest of my stuff? There. Don't ask. He tidied my room. <laughs> Well, he'll be needing representation, then. Look, we need him to leave town if he's not careful. And that is... My clothes, thoughtfully shoved into a garbage bag so that he can stick his own gear in the wardrobe. What? He, he took your clothes out of the cupboard? Pick them up off the floor. <laughs> but that's not the point. It's my room, and I'm the one doing him a favour. So, uh, we'll be dining formally tonight? Well, the dress I was planning to wear is apparently in there, so can I just get changed to your place? You know, it could be our place. Oh my God, are you serious? Well, most of your stuff's already there. Isn't this entrapment, Mr Murray? Quite possible. What do you think? So what the oncologists say? No change. That's good news. I took a message from Susan earlier today. Susan, your daughter? Yeah. Wondering if you were going to go to the family reunion. I try to keep my personal life out of the station. Apparently she's already left a number of messages on your home phone. She called the station as a last resort. Tom, maybe you should go. Maybe you could do with some family around you at the moment. What did the oncologist say? I'll be late in tomorrow. There's uh, still some scotch in the bottom drawer. Help yourself.
can't recognize the guy's face. I can see the shotgun, all right. Not his face. Oh, you didn't get a good look at him. Oh, I saw him, all right. He had you in a headlock. I saw him. I made a point of it. And then the, um... And the gun went off. I know I saw him, I just can't remember his face. Matt, it, it catches up with all of us. I'm not some trainee, Amy. I've had guns pulled on me before, I've been, been shot at. Timor, Footscray. <laughs> Look, you shouldn't have gone in there. I know why you did, but it was a very big risk. Maybe no you time. Need... Don't suggest counselling. Well, everyone falls to pieces sometime. Do you? How are you feeling? It's your first treatment, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It can be a little overwhelming at first. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate. <sighs> what do I do? Well, take a seat, wherever you like. Bloody hell. Let anyone in here. Everything okay, Gina? I think it's time for my whiskey. I'll go see if we've got ice. Oh, come on. I'm not biting today. You had a bit of a system. Joss. All right. Okay. Look, I've been thinking, and I completely understand why you were angry with me. All right. I just think we need to find a way of sorting things out. So just hear me out. If I take the right hand side of the cupboard and you take the left hand side, and I'm more than happy for you to have two thirds of it, right? However, we need to establish a rule. We don't put things on the ground. All right. I'm moving in with David. Oh. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. So the room's all yours? Well, I guess it is. Cool. And so is the rent. What? Come here often, Sergeant? Are you just checking up on me? First time, actually. Congratulations. And it's senior sergeant. Yeah, but it's a bloody mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Just a guess. But I reckon right about now you're wishing you had something to drink. First the thirst, then the munchies. Then you'll want to throw up. A bit like opium, really. I didn't hear that. Didn't see this either. You know, I could probably arrest you for that. Sure. But now you've had a drink yourself, doesn't that make you an accessory? I'm surprised I haven't had to deal with you before, hardened criminal. <laughs> Gonna give that back? 
So you're new in town? Left here when I was a kid. Why? Why'd you come back? The natural charm of the place. Now, how about a real drink? You come prepared. Mm. I'm an old hand. Does this help? Won't stop the nausea. But at least it relaxes you. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Hey. Hey. What did he say? Joss, unimpressed. He realised he'd have to pay Chris the full rent. Oh, <laughs> God. I was wondering... Yeah? Could I stick some of my stuff in that spare room? What, the study? It's just that your bedroom's really small and I cart around a fair bit of junk with me. Um, you yeah, know, I do actually work in that room. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's just the computer and the desk, isn't it? I mean, I don't need to put my stuff in a cupboard. We could just pile it in the corner of a room. I'm not, I'm not fussy. Well, you know, there are some good self-storage places in town. Why don't we check out a couple of those? So I can't put my stuff in the study? Don't worry, Kel. I'll sort it out. Ah, uh, boss, have you signed off on the rosters? Boss, the rosters. Hey, I wouldn't. Sorry, boss, we'll just... Uh, like what it. is it? Well? Um, I, I went through my day book for the date my computer accessed those files. I was called out to reception at 12.30. Some guy with a confused story about a neighbourhood dispute took me ages to sort him out. He left at 12.50. The files were accessed at 12.40, boss. So, Cooper was in here at the photocopier. He obviously organised this bloke as a distraction. Did you get a name? False name and address. But the guy at reception had jail tats all over his hands and up his arms. I checked his description with Matt. It's him. Cooper in. All right, Mr. Cooper. Who's your mate? Tough guy. Tats on his hands and arms. He lit up the shotty next to Constable Graham's ear. Beat up Billy Taylor and his girlfriend while you drove his car for him. You're moving your lips, but all I'm hearing is Tom Croydon. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. I'm flattered. You gonna answer the question? I wanted to help, but there's no point. Now, either you charge me, or I get my lawyer to start making a complaint of harassment. Okay, Mr. Cooper. I'm charging you with conspiracy to commit aggravated burglary. Good luck. Well, you obviously pulled the file from Sus's computer. Yeah, obviously, but it's still all circumstantial. He's not rolling on his friend. But we'll keep at him. Good luck. That's what Cooper said. Mount Thomas Police. Hey, I got a hit on the owner of the gun. About time. He's a Jack Hughes, listed address as a farm out past Widgery Way. Jack Hughes? He's been dead, dead about... Dead for eight years. There's right. a son. I right, talked to him. Boss, that was Ted Morris in the council. Someone's flogged a car that they had impounded. Light blue Corolla, Red Joe, OEL 347. Gina O'Connor. Gina, it's Tom. I'm coming inside. Oh, 
Jaina. Alex, let's talk. I need an ambulance right away. 168 Bell Street. what your relationship with Miss O'Connor is, but she could die at any point now. What happened? End stages of breast cancer. End stages? Well, what about treatment? She's on a drip to drain the fluids, but there's not much we can do. But she was... Uh, she was having treatment this morning. She was walking around. She was fine. It happens quickly sometimes. The system starts shutting down. I'm sorry. I thought you should know. Gina? You dirty old bugger. Creeping around my house. Lucky for you I was. Why didn't you just leave me there? Senior Sergeant. Inspector. Step inside. You too, Fox. An unexpected pleasure, sir. It's hardly a pleasure, Senior Sergeant. Well, I think it's your story, sir. Very well. We have evidence that the shotgun used in an incident yesterday came from the Mount Thomas Police Station and that you sold that weapon to criminals who then turned it against your own members. I fail to see the humour in the situation, yes, Senior Sergeant. so do I, sir. Adam Cooper. The source of the information is immaterial. Oh, for God's sake, it's rubbish. We'll see, Senior Sergeant. Fox, you will investigate these claims and report directly to me. To me, detective. Sir? And if disciplinary or criminal charges become necessary, we'll pursue those as well. Of course you will, sir. A big shoddy. Sawn off. Not when Dad had it. Look, I thought everything was going to be OK. We're trying to trace the movements of the gun after your father died. Yeah. Well, see, Mr Hughes, a powerful gun like that shouldn't have been in your father's possession in the first place. It's been illegal since 1997. Why didn't you hand it in? Well, I did. Well, we don't have any records of it. You didn't hand it in, Mr Hughes. You sold it to whoever gave you the best price for it. And unfortunately, it's just been used in the commission of a crime. Look, Tom said it would be all right. He said when I brought it in. You gave it to Senior Sergeant Croydon? Look, we found it out the back of the shed after Dad died. Now, we knew it was illegal, but we missed the amnesty, so I brought it in. Well, there's no traces of this. Yeah, well, technically your boss was supposed to find me, an illegal gun and all, but he said it'd be all right. He said he'd make it disappear. 
Oh, for God's sake, his son brought the gun in. Then why wasn't it destroyed? How does it end up in the hands How of some local... How the hell should I know? Look, if it was brought in, it would have been recorded. We've checked. The gun isn't there. You've got your orders. Tom! This is a load of crap. Cooper is obviously trying to make trouble and he knows exactly how to do it. <sighs> Look, we're keeping this from Falcon Price. No. You're reporting to Falcon Price, not me. Boss, I'm trying to help you here. Ah, uh, sorry, I'll come back later. No, that's all right. Come in. I just thought you should know Adam Cooper's being released on bail on the recommendation of the inspector. So did we tell Falcon Price? Not yet. You got a search warrant? Well, we're not here to search the place. It's you we're waiting for, Mr Cooper. I've got a lawyer coming up from Melbourne. I'm not saying anything. The gun your friend used to shoot at Billy Taylor's place? Where'd you get it? What are you going to do, bash me? You think he's going to be loyal to you? You think your precious boss is going to go out to bat for you when your ass is on the line? Hey, hey! Jones! Get out. Should cover it, Chris. I hoped. Satisfied? If it brings you down, then yeah. Off you go. If I can pay you back for screwing up my life, then the whole bloody thing will have been worth it. What about all that stuff you told me, Adam? What about taking responsibility for your own life? and the fact that it was trespassing. You're going to arrest me? Well, your car was impounded by a legal authority. How the hell did you get in there, anyway? I'm not going to tell you. Do you always make bedside calls to criminals? Not usually. How are you feeling? Crap. How about you? That whiskey help? No, not really, but... Uh, if it's good for you... What are you doing? You've probably got hundreds of grandkids to fawn all over you. But when I saw you earlier... Oh, here we go. You said I should have just left you there. And? You don't want that. Don't shoot me, Tom. I'm a disaster. It's going to get pretty bloody messy. I don't want anyone to see me go like this. So just bugger off, OK? I'm too tired. We now have a chain of evidence that shows you sold at least one weapon to criminal elements. Uh, Mr John Hughes, 
is prepared to testify that he brought the weapon in and surrendered it to you. You lodged no paperwork. Another witness is prepared to testify that you sold the weapon to him. Do you have anything to say? Usual advice to junior constables. And what's that? Your witness is compromised. There's a complete lack of motive. And you're emotionally involved. And you can explain that to ESD at the hearing this afternoon. This afternoon? These things take months to organise. Usual advice to junior constables. Come prepared. Now call your station together. Gives me no satisfaction to announce this to you. Senior Sergeant Croydon will be standing down, pending an inquiry by ESD, effective as of now. Acting Sergeant Kirby, you will be responsible for the running of this station until the end of the shift. And I suppose you'll be running the station after that? No. No. No one will be running this station. I'm closing it down. You will all be redeployed. Now, I expect your full cooperation for the few hours you remain at this station. Do I make myself clear? Good. Carry on. This time. Yeah, we're set. And Thomas 208. In position 509. He said he'd be here by now. He'll be here. What if something's gone wrong? Nothing's happened. Jonesy. Mount Thomas 208, stand by. Receive 509. We'll make that back. And here they come. Happy families. Mount Thomas 208. Oh my god, please! Get off him! Shot 5509. Mount Thomas 509, oh, no. okay, see, we need an ambulance and back up at our last. Pull back 208. No! Matt, Mount Thomas 208, pull back. Talk it through. Why don't you just put the gun down and we can talk about this. Back off! Back off! I'm fine. Doctor? His hearing's going to be effective for a couple of days and that powder burn's going to start hurting pretty soon. He should have some time off. Constable, Dr Ash thinks... Sorry, sorry boss. Dr Ash thinks you should take a couple of days off. Well, there's no need, I'm fine boss. He's not fine. He had a shotgun gone uh, in I've got work ear. to do. But... Thanks doc.
A bloke with a shotgun does a run through on you and your girlfriend, knocks off your drugs, and you've got no idea? What drugs? Mate, we've had your place bugged for weeks. We know you took a shipment of amphetamines last night. And you were due to make the handover this morning. But something went wrong. That's why we were there. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to work it out. I don't know about any drugs. All right, Billy. Mm. Try this one on for size. The drug deal that you and Janine were planning brought out some heavy muscle. Who were you dealing with? You find anything? Mate, we know. You find anything? I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing. No names, no mention.